I got something real short and brief to share. Have you ever been in an argument and um, you realize that you're wrong, but you just don't want to give it up, so you just keep going? Um, I felt like God was uh, sharing this word with me that He's called us to be people that just give it up. Give up the thing that we were never meant to carry. I'm reminded of how uh, Saul tried to put on uh, his armor on David to prepare him for battle. And it's like God God hadn't called David to carry that. I'm reminded of how uh, the fishermen had to drop their fishing nets to go and, and, and leave everything behind to go and follow Jesus and become his followers. Um, and I think about the rich young ruler that comes to Jesus. And he says, Jesus, I've... I've um, I've, I've obeyed every commandment. And then Jesus says, that's great. That's incredible. Now go sell all that you have, give it to the poor and follow me. And that illustration of how it's harder for a rich man to enter into uh, the kingdom of heaven than it is for a camel to enter the eye of the needle expresses the fact that the camel must uh, take everything off, strip itself just to get into the city to fit through those city doors. And it's, a, it's an encouragement and a challenge to us to see, are we the type of people that can give up what we were never meant to carry? The burden of the world, the things that hold us back, um, tying ourselves to the world will only slow us down. He's not called us to anchor ourselves to this world, but he's called us to anchor ourselves to heaven. And I was at youth camp, I think it was this year, um, and, I, and there was this cool game that they were playing where they had to jump in a life raft and get out onto this gross like pond to get, get out and... Uh, I think they had to go retrieve something and bring it back. And so all the kids were inf- blowing up their inflatable life rafts and they're, they're, they're rowing and they're, they're doing all right, but it's, quite, it's a quite a slow process. And then uh, Rockwell, Brennan and Christina's son, he's just like, okay, stop this. And he jumps into the gross pond and he just swims to go retrieve this thing. And you know, like sometimes there's things that at once were useful, like, you know, like a, a donut, like an inflatable donut that helps us stay afloat. Those things can actually become hindrances to what God is calling us to do. And so if we're not able to get rid of things, if we're not able to lay things down, it can actually slow us down um, from achieving all that he's called us to be and do. And so my encouragement is to give it up. Uh, when we give it up, we open up to a greater future. We tie ourselves to a greater destiny. We're anchored to a higher purpose with an immeasurable impact. And uh, this is the sort of vision that I'm seeing for the future. You know, Vanessa said this, like, when we're talking next generation, we're not talking just biological generation Eliases and uh, Adriels and all these young little beautiful babies. We're talking about the harvest that is yet to be harvested. We're talking about a new flow of of believers being saved, a whole new wave of revival, a new wave of ministers being raised up. And so I'm just going to read through this and hand it over. I see different faces carrying weightier calls. This is what I see for the next generation. I see different faces carrying weightier calls than we ever have. I see men and women, sons and daughters, saints, empowered to be truly, uh, to truly transform this city, this nation, and even beyond our borders. I see a healthy church who takes responsibility to make disciples of all nations. I see an obedient church who doesn't water down their great commission. I see a Bible-based Holy Spirit-empowered school, equipping believers, developing world-class leaders, a true catapult and catalyst for significant change in our world. I also see a people who choose flowing rivers over stagnant waters. I see a church who successfully embodies the new covenant desire of our Lord to administrate the coming kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven. Um, I see a new wave of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers ordained and released that we as a local church would have a global impact. I think God has called us to be a launching pad unlike what we've seen in years gone by. And I hear him say this, don't merely point to other models and what you've seen before. Be encouraged, but seek my face. For if you are willing, I will use this house to usher in great, great things. I see church plants. I see mission work, orphanages, uh, rehab centers, jail ministries, halfway homes, care for the homeless, truly restorative works in this city. I see a church who works to bring inner healing in the lives of believers and non-believers alike. I see a church who will not allow the cost of a building to hold 
hold back the works of the Lord. I see a church that would truly testify to the glory of God that no man or woman be in lack, but that we demonstrate the abundant life that Christ called us to. And so I believe this, that purchasing this place to call home is an opportunity to walk through the door into that inheritance. So practically, just so you know, the financial weight of hosting a local church in the inner west would surprise you, just bills wise. The median rent for venues in this, you know, venues of this caliber in this area, it's like half a mil to a mil annually. It's a silly amount. Our, our uh, financial advisor had a look at our books and he said, compared to every other church that I'm looking at, your uh, employment uh, outgoings ratio to um, income is ridiculously low like we're with obviously a lot of our money is going to bills and I just feel like God desires that we turn that around that 500k to a million for our empowerment that we would take 500k to a million worth of income to advance the kingdom annually and more there's a truly empowering reality and a heavenly wisdom to his desire to see us purchase a home to own land so that way we may not be subject to such things but be empowered